How did you get involved with Archer? Um, well, it's a f hilarious story. I was asked to do it. <laughs> okay. Um, now, the voice, when I heard it at first, I was like, how is Coach McGirt going to pull off being a super spy? And then all of a sudden, you do it, and it's, it's constant, constant barbarism. It's like Coach McGirt got a real job, right? Yeah. Exactly like that. So about Adam Reed getting you uh, to do the show and doing uh, the writing. Oh, Adam, yes. He's never asked me to write, uh, and, and for, for good reason. I, yeah, he writes all the episodes himself, which is uh, an impressive feat. Do you do any, like, ad-libbing when you get the dialogue, or is it just straight off the paper? I do, like, if I ad-lib, I it will be lazy. Like, I'll go, uh, like, something like that. It'll be like a guttural moan or a something. But I don't want to give like actual dialogue to help out the show. I'd rather just you know, keep all that for myself. Now, Danger Zone. Is there a, a story behind that? Because that is, I say Danger Zone at work all the time and feel very clever when I do. It's the breakout catchphrase of Archer, right? Yeah. Um, I don't know how it came. I think it was in the script. Uh, and it was spelled D A A A A A A A A A A A N G E R. So I knew, you know, it was really spelled out for me to go danger zone. That's I was gonna ask you to do it one more time, and you just you just did it. I couldn't even hold. I couldn't get zone out. That's how exhausted I am. So a lot of voice acting. Hold on. Danger zone. I can't. I don't have the breath. Now, a lot of voice actors, like, they always have to do, like, Hank Azari does, like, a gazillion different voices, but you're lucky enough that your voice is so, it's like an entity. It carries you wherever you go. It's a surprise, yeah. It's like uh, making a lot out of a little, yeah. So did you start doing uh, a lot of, like, voice work and, like, voiceover stuff, or was it always just animation? Well, the, I'm putting on a voice right now. This is not my actual voice. So this, this is my character, the voice I use for all my characters. So it's not like I'm less talented than people who can put on voices. I'm putting on a voice right now. And I normally sound like this. <laughs> do you feel like like pressure to always break out that voice then? Or do you ever just want to be you? It's hard to hold it because it's so deep and resonant and beautiful. It's hard to keep it up. But I'm, I do it for because people love it. Now, when you guys are doing the, the voice sessions, is it just one person in the studio at a time? Or is there a few people in there? Well, uh, um, me and my attendants, you know, the people who take care of me, uh, you know, uh, bring me my stuff that I like, and um, people who wash me, and, and stuff like that. Now, uh, in Archer, I'm by myself, and in Bob's Burgers, uh, you're in with everybody. So they do it two different ways. 